here. She hates being held, but I love her. Hey, my little teddy bear. Say hi to everybody, Lola. They only ever see Luca and Leo, because <laughs> you're too grumpy. All right, come on. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing my October favorites, which I'm really excited about because I forget to do my favorites every freaking month, and everyone's like, Shay, what the hell? Why don't you ever do freaking favorites videos? And I'm like, oh no. What's my problem? I just forget. If you've watched me for a long time, or even if you haven't, maybe you've noticed, I do a lot of makeup tutorials, a lot of just like makeup, 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 makeup. Like I like am such a freaking makeup brain. You know what I mean? Like if you were to cut me open in there, it's probably just all lip gloss and eyeshadow. It's why nothing ever makes sense coming out of here. So like during the month when I'm filming, I forget to do favorites videos. I forget to do like more personal videos. Like I have to keep reminding myself that you guys sometimes do want to hear what I have to say or what I like. That's why you're coming here, right? Like, I I don't know. I just feel silly for thinking that sometimes I just usually just try to film a bunch of tutorials and makeup reviews and things like that because that's just where my mind's at and where one of my passions, it's what I love. And then I, I get comments like, Shay, why do you never talk about yourself or do any type of tag or any type of you know, talking video, and if you guys, so I'm sorry, I need to change it, I definitely need to change it, and I'm gonna start doing more tag videos, fun videos, um, challenge videos, vlog videos, and favorites videos, most, most importantly, I'm gonna remember to do my favorites videos, so if you guys are ready, let's talk about some of the things I loved this month, so this thing I want to talk about first, you guys, because I've been meaning to tell you about it for, like, three months. I don't know if you guys remember back, I bought on Amazon this like, this like 90 or 60 second warming cream. It was really crazy. It like heats up because I had like a hurt shoulder. And so I was using that as like kind of like a treatment. Well, they sold this as well in that same online Amazon, you know, beauty supply store or whatever. And I was obsessed with it. And I really wanted to tell you guys about it in case there's anyone out there who also loves like coffee scrubs. And like, well, scrubs in general, but like, if you love a coffee scrub or you love the smell of coffee or like, uh, oh, so good, you will love this. This is the Arabica. Oh gosh, why did this set? I say everything like so stupid, like American, like Arabica. Like, come on, Shay. So this is this is by Pure Body Naturals, and it's Arabica. It's a 100% natural Arabic coffee scrub. The delicious, indulgent way to firm, exfoliate, and antioxidize your skin. And oh my gosh, you guys, it did. It did exfoliate so well. Clearly, it's a coffee scrub. But it smells so good. It woke me up every morning. I think I still kind of technically have some left. Tell me if anyone else is like this. I've been this way since I was a child. If I get to the bottom of a tub, Milk is where it started first because I had an uncle who told me not to drink the last inch of a milk jug when I was younger. Don't drink the last inch of whatever because it's grossness. And I was like, oh my god, okay. So since then, you guys, it's awful. I wouldn't say inch. I'd say like maybe half inch. Any like last layer of product or milk or like anything, I can't use it. I can't. Anything last, I can't use it. It says it treats acne, eczema, whiteheads. It detoxes, it's anti-wrinkle, okay? Love, love, love. If you wanna get your skin stimulating, definitely recommend that. I'll also link the hot cream that I bought with it down below. You guys might like to check that out too if you have a lot of sore muscles. It was in like an orange tub, I just don't feel like finding it. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about, I'm so excited because I've always wanted to try their stuff, but again, as usual, I'm late to the party. I've never tried it till now. This is the Herbivore Coconut coconut milk bath soak and Sigma Beauty actually put this in our rooms at Sigma Getaway and it was like amazing. Just so, like the touches that they did were just freaking insane. But anyway, this is what they had in our rooms. It's a coconut um, bath soak, like I said, by Herbivore. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Like look, like I'm so like uneducated and like this is, I've, I've wanted to try this so bad and what I also want to try, I'm gonna order, order it next because I'm like, hello, I killed this in like no time at all, look at me. It's just like a, you know, like a bath like a bath salt or about bath milk. I'm sorry, like bath milk. It smells so good. This is what it looks like. It's like a powder. Um, but they actually sell like a rose polishing scrub or something. A rose something, a rose something. And I love rose, I love rose, I love anything like that. So um, I'm gonna order that next, but I loved this. So thank you so much, Sigma, for introducing me to this. If you missed it, I did already upload my vlog video of myself and a bunch of other vloggers and Sigma Beauty in Fort Lauderdale. We were there for the weekend celebrating Sig Magic, and I did upload that video if you wanna check it out. In that same video, I also review this cleanser. Amazing, it is 
amazing, you guys. First of all, it's 100% natural. It's made really, really well. It's just, I could go on and on and on about it. So go to that video if you want to hear the details, but it is so great. It has been cleaning all my brushes, sponges, all of it. Like, it gets foundation out. It gets creamy, you know, jelly products out. It's only $15, which, again, I think is amazing. Let's jump into makeup really quickly, fam. So there's something here I think I need to give a little bit more credit to. It's really been, you know, kind of carrying my life lately. It's been brightening my under eye. It's been evening my freaking face. You know, it's been really, really nice, and I have almost used it all up, and I don't think I've mentioned how much I love it, except for in tutorials. This is the Makeup Forever Concealer Palette. This is, actually, it's their, like, camo palettes. Yeah. Five camouflage palette. In the shade number two, it's too light for me, I'm sure, as you guys can tell. I think that last trip to Florida, like, it did me in, and now I have a little bit of color to last me through the winter, but it means that, like, none of my stuff matches. I just love having all the shades, all the variety, and I'm such a little psycho. Like, I love to mix up my own color, even though I probably have no idea what I'm doing. I just have the need to go, like, okay, yep, and I'll just take a little bit of every single freaking concealer in my freaking palette and let me just, mmm, perfect. I love this. So, okay, I'm gonna order another one of these tonight, and I'm gonna get number three this time, I guess, instead of number two. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys about my lip, because I've been wearing it all week. I've been in, like, a rediscovering week. I've been rediscovering some favorites. Well, the first thing is my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Don't mind my dirty bottle. How do I dirty everything, you guys? Love the Better Than Sex Mascara. I love, I just love it. I have it on today, actually. You know, it makes your lashes super long, super thick. I forgot how much I like. It defines, it lifts, and I don't notice much crumbling or flaking with it either. I think it stays on my lashes really, really well. What's on my lips today has also been a favorite all freaking week. I have just thrown it on with any eye at all. You know, a lot of mascara in this lip color. I swear it was life-changing. This is Kylie Cosmetics Dulce K. I really like it. So Dulce, oh Dulce, Dulce K with a Oh. So next, you guys, I want to talk about my favorite, favorite face powder this month. It caught me by surprise, and not because I didn't think it was going to be good for any particular reason, but because of my preferences, I always used to use a pressed, full coverage powder foundation on top of my liquid foundation. I know that sounds like, uh, like Nightmare City, right, on your skin, like too cakey, cake city, but I loved it. I love the coverage. I suffer from acne scars, as you guys know, so that was like always my go-to trick, like to give me some super flawless foundation, you know what I mean? I wanted my skin to look really nice, but it was really heavy. It was really heavy, and I, you know, then you get the creasing and the caking. So this is the Pure Minerals Balancing X, and I was out of all my powders. I saw this in a drawer, and I was like, I don't think I ever remember using this. It's a shine color control powder so clearly you would probably want to use this more in your t-zone I don't really have much shine ever so I just straight up used it everywhere I just take the duo fiber f50 and I I love this powder you guys I cannot recommend it enough I just set it in on top of all my other makeup and it oh it really did everything it kept my oils at bay it's making it look so nice and matte which I like I like a full matte face unless it's like on my highlight points then a little shines okay but I want my whole face to be like matte it's just what I like I don't know why I don't know so you're not gonna get coverage out of here but you are gonna get you know it's gonna absorb your oils it'll take away any shine this next favorite is more hair care you guys and I actually stole it from my boyfriend so thank you Alok for buying this because I loved it this is the living proof full volume no this is the living proof full dry volume blast instant lasting volume texture yada 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 i used it on my hair today because my hair i don't know if i've told you guys is stick straight there's no body no movement no nothing to my hair like normally when i curl it 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 will stay all just like one like solid curl it won't get any volume no body no anything so something like this a dry shampoo and again it's the one i used today living proof i just like to go in spray it right in my ends there and kind of like shake up my curls down here and it kind of you know, gives them more of like a, like it just makes it more, you know, nice. First of all, it smells great, really fresh. But do you, do you guys see like the texture and like body it gave me? It's life changing. Still on hair, I really wanted to talk about these two things. Okay, so first off, Heyo Mayo. I'm obsessed. You can get this from Ulta Beauty, you guys. Like I said, Heyo Mayo by Tony Moly. Am I saying that right? This is a hair nutrition pack. You guys, wait till I tell you. So it's egg yolk, shea butters, <laughs> that's us. Doesn't smell like egg yolks and mayo. I don't want you guys to go, ooh, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use that girl. Like that seems like it would smell like a no good. It smells nice. It doesn't smell 
like a perfume. It smells like, thank God there's not a smell. You know what I mean? I feel like it's one of those moments. Thank God there's not a smell because egg yolk and shea butter, I just don't. Also, you know, I know it doesn't really mean anything, but if we were to put a little S right here, it would say my name. Yeah, I've been loving it though. It has been every day when I get out of the shower, I do a little squirt of this. But the one thing is, again, back to the smell, I miss like a Solani smell. I'm just very bougie. I need some type of like Solani smell in my hair. And so that's where this little number comes in. This is the Kenra Snail Cream. Like, look what I'm putting in my hair. Like, it is a crazy time for Shay's tresses okay we're really trying it all out right now snail cream you guys this is a snail cc cream 10 in 1 anti-aging and it's for your hair mm -hmm. oh that it's in a pump any like hair product that comes out like that yes you are winning like you knew what i needed and this does not smell bad i don't want you guys to think i add it in because it smells bad i like to add in a smell love them and again you can get them both at ulta beauty i think that's kind of it as far as like makeup and product favorites go you guys I have a few like clothing accessory type of things now. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about because I'm getting so many questions on social media about them. Uh, so these are my sunglasses here. They are by, is it Key? Are they by Key and not Quay? Can I tell you guys the most embarrassing thing ever? At the Sigma getaway thing, I freaking called them Quay to Chloe Morella, who's from Australia. She probably looked at me like I'm such a freaking idiot asshole. Chloe, I'm so sorry I pronounced these wrong. I'm sorry that I'm so basic and I did not know how to pronounce these correctly. But I was like, went in there with my little American ass like, oh, these are Quay sunglasses. And that's not even how you pronounce them. I think they're called Key. So if these are pronounced Key, let me know. If they're pronounced let me know how they're pronounced. I know I'm doing it wrong. I love these so much, you guys. I ordered these on Amazon actually like a day before I left for Florida because I realized I had like no sunglasses that I, you know, I wanted like new sunglasses. I ordered these on Amazon right before I left and they came two days shipping. Whoop, whoop. Amazon Prime. Whoop, whoop. Amazon Prime. So yeah, I love them. I love them. They're like rose gold, mirrored. I've gotten nothing but compliments and I think they're pretty fantastic. What? I look so disheveled. How do I start my videos like an elegant swan and I end this hideous beast? Next, you guys, and possibly lastly, no, there's like one more thing I want to talk about. Um, But I want to show you guys two pairs of shoes that I'm obsessed with right now that I absolutely love. So the first ones here, I've only worn like a few times and I mean, they've been great. Oh no, and they already scuffed and ruined them. So they're not, they're cheap shoes. They're not like really nice shoes that won't get damaged. They're like cheap shoes, which I kind of prefer cheap shoes because I'm, you know, I'm I'm destructive. I'm, oh, you guys, whoo, I'm like a tornado. If you see me coming through, you better freaking run, especially if I had like a little tequila, which is like a, a lot of times I buy less nicer things because I know I'm going to just fuck it up. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm just going to tear it up, you guys. No, but I love these shoes, and I think I actually got these on Zulily. So I got these shoes on that website, and I love them. I think they're just, you know, they're super cute little... They look like Timberlands, and when I was in high school, that's like all I wore, I used to wear. <laughs> you guys remember like, like the pink Timberlands? I had pink Timberlands with, with white fuzzy on the top, and then I had blue Timberlands with like white fuzzy on the top, and then I had the regular Timberlands. Oh my gosh, I went through such a phase with the Timberlands, but I still love them. They're still great shoes, hello. And I look like a badass in them, obviously. CA Collection by Carini. So they're by Carini. I think they're so cute without the flannel. But then, but then, say you want a little flannel. So you want to show a little festive spirit. Ah! It's so cute! I love them. I really love them. The next things I want to talk about, I've always wanted. And I'm so happy I have them. I feel emotional when holding them. That's how much I love these. I love these. Anyway, a hot look sale came up one day. And it was the same way I got my first Hunter boots. Um, Hunter was on there. And I, I went and I was scrolling and I was scrolling. And I saw the big ones and I was like, ah! And these are actually a size 5, a US size 5, and they fit me really well, but I'm normally a size 6 shoe. But I love these. I love that they're the glossy pink boots. I've always wanted them. I was so excited. I think I literally got the last pair. Alright, you guys, that is it for my October favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a happy and healthy and safe and fun Halloween weekend. Whatever you're doing, whatever you've already done, be safe and be sound. Check all your candy for needles. No, I'm kidding. Don't go trick-or-treating. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.